how to use the runway selector. This calculator can help you figure out which runway has the best headwind. It does have two runway indicators on it. If you're using this at an airport with just one runway, you can put the two half moons together and use it like this. For this example, I'm going to use a local airport here in Cincinnati called Lunkin. It has two runways. One is runway 21 and the other is 25. So I'll go ahead and input runway 21 up here and then find 25 on my other one. And now I can take the wind indicator and match it up to the wind that I find on the METAR or in an ATIS. At Lunkin, the wind is often out of the west, so I'm going to go to 270, and it's at 10 knots. Using this example, you can quickly see that runway 25 will be the best runway to land on. This calculator does go one step further to help you figure out the crosswind component. Around the outside, there's these small numbers in blue, and you see right here is 070, and the wind is at 090. There's a 20 degree angle between the runway and the wind. If we go ahead and we flip over the calculator, there's this handy little chart. If I follow over to 20 degrees and follow down to 10, it will tell me that the crosswind component is around three knots.